Hey! Hey friends, it's Vicky. Welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be doing a 1920s makeup look because New Year's is right around the corner and we are going into the 20s again. Do 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 do. That's like my roaring 20s music. So yeah, fun little 1920s makeup look. I also have a little old update, but I don't wanna talk about that while I do my makeup. I just wanna do the makeup really quick. In case you guys are interested, we have a little chit chat after. Um, I'm going away for a little while from here, so yeah. Okay, let's get into the makeup look. So starting with the base of my face, I'm taking the Angel Veil vale Primer as always and priming my face. And then I'm taking my two NYX foundations, blending those together for a nice color that I like, and applying those as well. So now we're gonna go into the brows. The brows are one of the most iconic things about the 1920s makeup looks. 1920s brows are known for being long, thin, but marked. I don't think I wanna go with that very popular look for my makeup look. So what I think I'm gonna do with my brows is do more of a Dorothy McHale, which was a 1920s actress who for the most part would wear her brows pretty thick the way she naturally had them, but they were still, you know, long and had that 20s vibe to them. So yeah, what I'm gonna do is brush my brows out and just use some of my NYX concealer to block them a little bit from like the arches to thin them out so that we're not really necessarily doing like a crazy brow blocking, but you know, they're still gonna look a little bit thinner. See that already just kind of makes them less thick and arched and just more rounded. And you can also take some translucent powder to help set in that concealer. So now that the natural like arches of my brows have been removed, um, I'm just gonna go back in and darken them a little bit. Some of the powder and concealer got into the rest of my brows. So yeah, I'm taking my Wet n Wild eyebrow kit and I am gonna just darken those up a little bit with the light color. So there you go, as you can see, a little bit more rounded, but still long, thicker than most 1920s brows, but I like this. For the eyes, I'm going to curl my lashes. I'm gonna prep my eyelids with concealer. I'm inspired to do a little bit of a smoky eye look like Raquel Torres did in this image. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. Taking my modern Renaissance palette, the only palette that I seem to ever be using these days. I think I'm gonna take the color Antique Bronze and just kind of smoke out my eyes around the bottom and top lashes. Okay, so now that the eyeshadow has been applied, I'm gonna smoke it out with a larger flat eyeshadow brush. And then I'm also going in with an even fluffier one. All right, now it's time for the eyeliner and mascara and what better product to use in Best Summit Cosmetics 1920s mascara cake, hello. If there was ever a time to use this baby, it's now. I'm taking their thin brush and I'm dipping it in some water. Yes, this is a shot glass. And then rubbing it onto the cake mascara to grab that color. And I'm going to line my bottom lash line as well as my top one. And I'm not doing a wing here because it's not a very 1920s thing to do with your makeup. So what instead I'm doing is lining all around the eye. Okay, so the Best of Met Cosmetics Mascara Cake comes with this tiny little brush, but I'm gonna instead take, instead I'm gonna take their other brush, this little wand here, and dip that in water, and then use that for mascara instead. I'm gonna take my Alley Colors Concealer and conceal around my eyes and everywhere else too. I feel like the smokiness is not that prominent on the eyeshadow, so I'm gonna take a dense brush and smoke things out more. I really just want it to look fanned out and smoky. All right, now I'm gonna go in with my Best of My Cosmetics Blair Rose Blush Palette, and I'm going to take this really bright pink brush, blush, blush? Yeah, blush. I'm gonna take this really bright pink blush and apply it to my cheeks. I just wanna go for some really rosy cheeks for this one. Also putting a little bit at the tip of my nose. And on my chin too. With the highlighter, I'm gonna highlight under my brows just to define things. Okay, for the lips, you can go with a very stereotypical flapper girl kind of Betty Boop lips where they're very like small and rounded. Um, 
I don't know that I want to do that. I am going to exaggerate my Cupid's bow a little bit though. Let's see what happens here. So I'm going to use my Bessemer Cosmetics Noir Red Lipstick uh, for a dark burgundy chocolatey color. But before that, I'm going to go over my lips with the lip liner Whitney from Remy Rose. So I am focusing on my Cupid's bow, which helps gives you that pouty look, but not too exaggerated and stereotypical. And that's the makeup. Now for my hair, I did set it into rollers. Maybe pin curls would have been better for this 1920s look, but I cannot stand sleeping and pin curls you know, i mean sometimes i can but i wasn't feeling like it also i don't even know that i rolled my hair properly for this look today i just kind of set my hair really really lazy while watching tv super late last night after like wrapping presents and making christmas gnomes um so we'll see what's gonna turn out so i want to go for more of a faux bob because my hair is long i don't know that i can really try to do finger waves it didn't curl too much from the top here um you that's why you really need those really tight pin curls but that's okay what i'm gonna do i'm not even gonna brush out my hair right now i'm gonna take my hair kind of twist it from the bottom and just tuck it in like that and then i'm gonna take some bobby pins and pin those in And bobby pins are cool and all, but sometimes when you have a lot of thick hair, in order to not use a million, I'm gonna cheat things a little and use a duck clip and just tuck it in there, just make sure it's not really seen. And then the rest of the hair at the front, I could just pin in with some bobby pins. I'm going to take some pomade to help shape the bob from the top and then put in some duck clips and let that hold for a sec or two or 10 minutes maybe. I'm gonna wait for this to set. I might go spray it down. looking good i would say that more or less it looks pretty good like something they would wear back in the day i do want to accessorize so i'm gonna put a headband on this just little black headband and then i'm gonna take this little feathery thing with pearls on it and put it on the side okay now if you excuse me i'm gonna go change and we will be right back I did also go off and take the mascara cake from Besame and marked my mole, 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 just to enhance it, kind of a nod to Clara Bow and some of the beauty trends of that time. And also, I put on my glitz and glammy, very Gatsby's party dress that I thrifted for a dollar twenty. This is obviously an 80s, 90s dress, but it does 20s very well too. It looks very Art Deco-y. Bam and glitz, perfect for the New Year's. So yeah. This is it. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, um, yeah, I'm gonna be taking a little break for a while. I just need to take some time off. There are a lot of things going on right now. Uh, this channel is obviously very small, but I put so much work into it and a lot of time, um, and I basically treat it as a second job, even when there are times when I shouldn't. Um, I put a lot of pressure on myself, and I think I need to just take a step back i mentioned this back in one of my videos where i was just giving like an update and i was telling you guys that i wasn't feeling well and you know there i said that i was going to take a break after the holidays probably and i am i went hard and have done every a video every single week since since the holiday started like from september and actually i always do that so i'm really really strict with myself when it comes to uploading here even when i don't have to i'm just like that i'm a very punctual person like i stick to schedules and i don't know i'm very very persistent i put a lot of pressure on myself when i don't have to and i did it during the holidays because i wanted to it's my favorite time to create but yeah i need to take a break i have a full-time job i'm in marketing which is very demanding and so doing this just takes a lot of time and I need I don't need to go into all the reasons I've been doing this non-stop for three and a half almost three and a half years now I feel like I need to start taking a step back and I need to reset and just 
take a break my health has not been doing well and a lot of that is because i'm taking time away from other things to focus on this so you know um i went to my doctor and uh i haven't been exercising as much as i used to it's been affecting my health i have like some stuff that has come up um weight gain as well started to affect my health as well so there's some things that i really have to take care of i i'm still dealing with that pmdd that i had talked to you guys about in that one video relaxation is also part of um dealing with all of those things and then there's other things as well that i can't really talk about you know with in our lives that's affecting mason and me there's just other things that i can't really talk about and maybe i'll update you guys at some other time but um there's been a lot of stress and the holidays add to that too but there's been a lot of stress and some days i still feel like i'm breaking down even though i've been doing better and trying to take it easier on here um there's a lot of work so I think I just have to go off and live a normal life and not have like two jobs right now and take stop it here. It scares me a little bit because obviously even though I'm not expecting this channel to grow big, um, taking a break can kill your channel. So you know for me that I get just a few hundred views, I don't know what that's gonna look like. I think I'm gonna be gone for like about a month. I'm gonna try. In the past I've said I'm gonna do this and I think the longest I've done is like two weeks and then I come back with like Two videos in one week because i feel like i need to make up for it we'll see how that goes watch me be back here in like two weeks from now but uh, i'm gonna try to take at least the whole month of january just to like take a break focus on myself focus on some career stuff um and just recharge and and rethink how i'm gonna be doing things on here i already have a ton of ideas for the next year stuff that i'm truly excited about to do i've even already started planning them out buying some stuff but i'm like hold on this is what I always do. It's like a hamster wheel. So yeah, I need to just slow down. Hopefully my tiny as it is already channel is not dead when I come back. If you're not already subscribed or you haven't hit that notification bell, even though I've already heard from some people that it's not working for them, but hit that notification bell down below so that you know when I come back. And you can also keep up with me on Instagram. I'm on Instagram still. I'm on there at Vicky Mouse House. So I'll still be active there and you guys can catch up with me on there i'm just tired i'm really tired i need to go take care of my health i need to de-stress um and stop living off of this constant almost chronic anxiety that i have now i know i'm gonna come back for sure um i may come back a little bit more chill without such a strict regimen because at the end of the day i do have a full-time job and i need to remind myself that that it's like not normal what i'm living i'm treating youtube the way full-time youtubers treat it um when i don't have the time there's just not enough hours in in the day it's this is not like a whiny it's not working now and i don't like this place and i don't know what to do kind of update for you guys it's more of like i love what i'm doing on here i'm very passionate about it i have too many ideas and i need to slow down because um I have a life and you know there's other things right now that have been difficult for mason and i during the holiday season but yeah i want to thank um you guys who do stick around here and are constant supporters y'all are awesome and you really make my day and i always look forward to your comments and to talking to you guys and yeah just being your friend y'all gonna make me emotional and i know this might sound dumb that i even have to give an explanation of going away but you know i i've never taken a break so i feel like i kind of owe that explanation to myself and to some of you that are really supportive and look forward to my videos every week so i just want to let you know i'm not disappearing off the face of the earth i am coming back so yeah always sending you a really big virtual hug hoping you have a happy new year and that all your wishes come true in 2020 i'll be seeing you guys really soon i don't know how soon but for sure i'll be back all right bye love you guys